What I'm about to share with you will probably cause me some headache from my quote unquote peers. I'm about to peel back the curtain and show you the man behind the wheel. Does that analogy work? Oh, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. My industry is full of jargon, noise, overcomplications, and bullshit. It's designed that way to confuse you and make you feel stupid and make people like me, some of which don't actually know what they're talking about themselves, seem more intelligent and more important than we actually are. When in reality, if you follow a few simple steps, you can get where you need to be. It's probably not a big secret, although I'm guessing you wouldn't expect someone like me saying it. And in reality, all it does, it just alienates us. It alienates us so-called finance professionals because what happens if you don't understand something, you just bury your head in the sand and you do nothing, which doesn't help you. And guess what? It don't really help me either because here's another little secret. If you don't do business with me, I don't get paid. And this is why I started this channel. Well, not just to get paid, but to take the bullshit out of finance and make it understandable and direct in a language that people like you and I speak. So how do you pick an advisor, financial planner, wealth manager, money mogul, wealth wizard, millionaire maker, or whatever wanky term someone like me wants to call themselves? For a start, make sure they've taken their exams and they're qualified. Does that mean they're great at the job? No, it just means they can retain information and shouldn't be too much of a moron, which is a good start. And secondly, if someone opens a conversation with the sharp ratio or the beta or the alpha of a proposed portfolio in relation to your risk reward status or any other crap that you don't understand, run the other way. None of that's important when you've got teenagers going to uni in a few years and you don't know how much it's going to cost you. I've always had the view that if you can't simply explain a topic in a couple of minutes, you don't really understand it yourself. So what I'd advise looking for in someone like me is someone that A, you gel with, B, knows what they're talking about, but can also get it across to you in a language that you understand. C, actually helps you work out what you need. And I'm not talking find the best or the cheapest product or the very best returns. I'm talking take a step back from this and things like how much do you need for the kids? How much do you need for you? When do you need it? What do you need to do today to get there? For most people, there's going to be a lot of questions you never even thought to ask that are really important and this is what an advisor worth his weight in salt will get you thinking about way before he tells you how much money you can make you in the next 12 months and d make sure they're not afraid of having uncomfortable conversations with you what's the point paying someone to be a yes man you may as well just do it yourself i hope that helps see you in the next video oh and check out the website